Good afternoon, I'm Mr. Bar from Aguro High School, Mathematics Department. In, a, in our previous topic, we talked about matrices and transformation. And we saw how we could use a unit square in finding various matrices of transformation. We are going to continue with that topic using a unit square in finding matrices of transformation. In our previous class, we look at reflection on the line y or on the line y is equals to zero, that is the x-axis, and reflection on the y-axis, that is the line x is equals to zero. Today we are going to look at uh, using a unit square in finding the matrix of reflection on the line y, uh, y is equals to x and the line y is equals to negative x. Consider our unit square, the i, the j, and the k as our unit square. When we reflect the unit square on the line y is equals to x, then the j coordinates will be reflected into the i. So we'll have the coordinate of j prime here after reflection. The same, when we reflect the i coordinate, it will be at j. So, we'll realize that uh, the line y is equals to x is our middle line. So, we realize that the lines or the coordinates interchange. The one for the y-axis becomes on the x and the one on the x-axis moves to the y-axis. Then I did say that as we are going to come up with the matrix, we consider the coordinates of the i prime and the j prime followed in that order. If you look at the i, the image of i after reflection, it is 0, 1. And we write it here as 0, 1. Then we look at the coordinate of j after j prime after reflection, uh, the coordinate is 1, 0 and write it as 1, 0. Therefore, the matrix that represent a reflection on the line y is equals to x is equals to 0, 1, 1, 0 as the matrix that represent a reflection on the line y is equals to x, uh, y is equals to x. The same can be done on a reflection on the line y is equals to negative x the first step is to draw the line y is equals to negative x and is that line and realize that that line has a positive gradient it has a negative gradient the line y is equals to x has a negative gradient uh, while the line y is equals to x has a positive uh, gradient now when we reflect uh, the unit square the i coordinate and the j coordinate and of course the k then we realize that um, the i when you reflect along the line y is equals to negative x the i double prime will be at this particular point when we reflect the coordinate of j along the line y is equals to negative x then we'll have j double prime being at this particular point that is the point negative one comma zero as that and of course k will be reflected here negative one negative one but we consider the i double prime and the j double prime the i double prime is zero negative one we write it zero negative one and the j double prime is negative one zero uh, uh, that is negative one zero as we write it here so therefore uh, we come up with a matrix and the matrix is 0, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 1, 0. And that is the matrix that represents the reflection on the line y is equals to negative x. The line y is equals to negative x can also be written as the line y plus x is equals to 0. Or it simply write the line x plus y is equals to 0. It's the same line. So we can write it as y plus x is equals to 0 or x plus y is equals to 0. It is still the same line y is equals to negative x. And the matrix that represents 
a reflection along that line is 0, negative 1, and uh, negative 1, 0, as we have seen. Now, the same unit square can be used in finding the matrices of uh, transformation, that is rotation. Uh, in rotation, we are going to look at uh, the unit square still, and we are going to consider rotating that unit square. And we have types of rotation. We have a rotation of the uh, of po positive 90 degrees about, uh, about the origin. That is the same as positive quarter turn about the origin. The same as a negative quarter turn about the origin is a rotation of negative 90 degrees about the origin. So let us look at uh, the diagram that we have. We have the I, the J, and the K. Now when we are rotating uh, the image, let us start with the positive. We move, positive rotation is done in anti-clockwise direction. So we will move in the anti-clockwise direction and say that the I, when you rotate it at about the origin, that is 0, 0, then the I, the coordinate of I will move to J, so we'll have I prime at that particular point. The coordinate of J will move to the uh, to I on this other side, that is negative 1, 0, so that is J prime. So we are rotating, and K will also be rotated at an angle of 90 degrees uh, from that origin, you find that that angle is 90 degrees the same to this is 90 this is angle is 90 uh, therefore we have managed to rotate it through an angle of 90 degrees so our image i prime becomes here k prime is here and uh, j prime is at that particular point and in identifying the matrix that represent that uh, positive quarter turn then uh, we have to take the i prime and the j prime and the I prime is 0, 1, 0, 1. And the J prime is negative 1, 0. J prime is negative 1, 0. Therefore, the matrix that represent a rotation of plus 90 degrees or positive 90 degrees about uh, the origin or a, a, a transformation or positive quarter turn about the origin is represented by the matrix 1, uh, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, as that. Let us look at matrix of rotation about negative 90 degrees about the origin. Now, that is the same as negative quarter turn about the origin. Because we know that all the rotations that are done in a clockwise direction are considered to be negative. And that is exactly what we are going to do. We are going to rotate it in a clockwise direction. And therefore, we are going to have the J, uh, the I is here, and the J is here. And of course, there is also K. Now, when we rotate I prime on this particular point, move it 90 degrees, it will, it will land at 0, negative 1. That is, the I double prime now will be here. We call it I double prime. The I double prime. Then we'll also look at the J double prime. The J was at this particular point. When we move it 90 degrees, the J double prime will be at this particular point. So that is J double prime at that point. So that one is going to give us a rotation of 90 degrees. So let us look at the J double, J double prime. The J double prime is 0, negative 1. 0, negative 1, then the, uh, that is the I double prime. The I double prime is 0, negative 1, and the J double prime is negative 1, 0, 1, 0. So now when we are writing in matrix form, it is uh, 0, negative 1, 1, 0. And that is the matrix that represents a rotation of negative 90 degrees about the origin or we simply say negative quarter term about the origin. Uh, and then lastly, we are going to look at the matrix of rotation about 180 degrees. When we rotate 
at the matrix about 180 degrees when we rotate that matrix about, uh, about uh, 180 degrees and remember when we are talking about rotation we did say that a rotation of either positive or negative will take the image to the same point therefore we are going to look at the rotation of that uh, uh, plus or minus 180 degrees and we are going to have the i rotated to uh, the, the i rotated to 180 degrees would will definitely become here so we'll have i double prime at this particular point and the j rotated for 180 degrees in whichever direction it will be at this particular point so the i moves to this side that is i double prime and the j will move to this side that is j double prime therefore when we consider that when we look at the matrix of rotation of plus or minus 100 degrees uh, is uh, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. Remember, a rotation of plus or minus 100 degrees is also the same as a half turn about the origin. Otherwise, thank you, and that is the end of that particular lesson. Please.